Iran's top nuclear scientist was assassinated today. That's according to Iran's defense minister. State media reports he died after armed men shot up his bodyguards and his car. The attack, 40 miles east of Tehran. No one's claimed responsibility, but Iran's foreign minister is blaming Israel, quoting now serious indications of Israeli responsibility, he says. Neither Israel nor the United States is commenting. The scientist was known as the mastermind of Iran's covert atomic bomb program. A NBC's Ali Rousey is in Tehran. Hey, Shep. Well, I can tell you there is anger, outrage, and a little bit of anxiety here in Tehran after Iran's top nuclear scientist was assassinated in a brazen attack in broad daylight. Now, senior officials in the country have been calling for swift revenge for his assassination. The head of Iran's armed forces says that the country must revenge his assassination immediately. Others have been saying that if a swift blow isn't delivered to the United States and Israel, it'll only embolden the enemy. Also, paramilitary groups have staged a demonstration this evening saying that uh, no U.S. assets should remain safe in this region over the next 40 days. Now, uh, Mohsen Fakhrizadeh was the father of Iran's nuclear program. This is going to be a big dent to the country, to their nuclear program. It's also going to expose a major security breach in the country and raise a lot of questions as to why Iran's top nuclear scientist was exposed this way. Now, although it's probably not going to close down Iran's nuclear program, it is going to make negotiations with the United States and the future Biden administration very complicated. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.